So in the infamous words of Brad Pitt, Oh, what's in the box? Sorry, had to be done. So, was I scammed? Was I conned? I bought this potential Necker exclusive set completely blind from AliExpress, with the only photo being that of a barcode. Was I an idiot? Let's find out. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is likely the only franchise where changes, updates and reboots are considered okay amongst most fans. And I think this is due to the changes coming in early to the franchise. For example, the gap between the original Mirage comics and the first animated show was only three years. We then had the 1990s live action movie a couple of years after that and a new animated series in 2003. It seems to me that every generation seems to have their own version of the Turtles and throughout the fan base, there doesn't seem to be any form of elitism, no one feeling that they're better than others. We all just seem to get along. Now, obviously this is only my experience. If you happen to know any different, please let me know down in the comment section below. Anyway, shortly after their initial creation by Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird, we received the Jim Lawson Turtles. These are arguably the most recognized depiction of the Turtles, at least from the Mirage comic standpoint. And I have to say, seeing these latest NECA action figures online, well, frankly, they looked great, and I wanted to have them within my collection. But is that what we have here, or have I been conned by an online scam? Is this the real deal? Let's open up the package and find out. This could be a painful lesson indeed. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is a good start. Got the outer packaging open, and as you can see, very well protected with this bubble wrap. And uh, yeah, looking through, because obviously it's transparent, we can at least see that the box is actually that of the Mirage Turtles. So uh, fingers crossed, this is actually it. Let's open it up and find out. Okay, so yeah, so here is the Mirage box, and yeah, well done to AliExpress. I mean, it's not perfect. There are a few little dinks and dents, um, but overall, really nice. You know, it's arrived safely, arrived in really good condition. Uh, we can flip it over to see the back of the box there. And uh, yeah, there is a little bit of an indent along here. But I mean, what can I say? It's, it's absolutely fine. A little bit of a dent up here, etc. I'm not an inbox collector, so really, I, I do not care. But uh, yeah, so let's turn this around. So this right here. That was all that we had in order to find out what this was. This was the only picture listed on the listing. And uh, yeah, I took a massive gamble on this. Now, fortunately, I have bought from this seller before. So I kind of felt confident in my purchase. I kind of knew that they weren't going to do me wrong or do me dirty with this pack. But yeah, it's always a little bit nerve wracking when you're buying something from a foreign country, only looking at a picture of a barcode and the description not really giving much away. So uh, yeah, huge gamble, really glad, so far at least, that it appears to have paid off. So uh, fortunately, this is a window box. So uh, yeah, let's open it up and see if I actually have the turtles. Was this gamble worth it? Did it pay off? Yes, thank God. So uh, yeah, as you can see here, the four Mirage Turtles. Um, wow, these guys look absolutely great. So yeah, looking at these guys within the packaging, we would assume that this was, of course, Raphael, Michelangelo, Donatello, and Leonardo. However, I think these have been mispackaged. So as you can see here, you would assume that this was Raphael because he's got the hood and he's got his size. Well, this guy would be Michelangelo because he's got his nunchucks. However, I think these two are switched around the wrong way. And the reason for that is because of this character's battle damage. The battle damage on this figure is more representative of Raphael. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below. So uh, yeah, without doubt, I would assume that this is Donatello, this is Leonardo, obviously with the way the belts are. So um, do you know what? Let's just get this thing open. I'm super excited. So before we get to the turtles, let me just show you this backdrop here because this thing is beautiful in and of itself. So this is the backdrop to the box where the turtles were obviously displayed in front and we couldn't really see it. But here we have a smoking fire along with the Shredder's helmet on a pike. Uh, potentially it could be the Shredder's head, I think it is just the helmet. And uh, yeah, we have our four turtles all standing around in a very solemn pose looking out over at New York City. 
But uh, yeah, this is a great little piece and I don't know, I'm not sure what to do with it. Do I frame this? Do I put this up on the wall? Do I just leave it in the box? What do you guys do with these backgrounds? I know that sometimes the backgrounds are very plain or they're very uh, scenery based. Um, but yeah, what do you do when the actual characters are printed on them? Do you display it as a picture? Again, let me know down in the comment section below. So moving this piece aside, now let's take a look at the four turtles. So uh, yeah, as you can see here, we have the four turtles and like I indicated before, I believe this one to be Michelangelo, this one to be Raphael, this one to be Donatello and this one of course being Leonardo. Uh, this one being the most obvious because he has the strap there and obviously the katana sheaths, I guess you would call them. Sheath is right, yeah? Katana sheath. Um, so yeah, definitely Leonardo there. Then of course Donatello with his bow staff and little turtle tail. You know, we don't always get tails on turtles, but these are pretty cool. So uh, yeah, obviously the bow staff will go through there, making this one, of course, Donatello. And uh, yeah, then these two are pretty much exactly the same, apart from this battle damage that we see here. So that indicates to me that this is Raphael and this is Michelangelo. So guys, a quick little side note, I was actually watching Pixel Dan's channel and he actually mentioned that each of these turtle figures actually have their initials printed underneath the head. So if you pop those heads off, you can actually see which turtle belongs on which body. Um, so yeah, I don't really think it matters overall because obviously they're all very similar. They're all wearing the same red bandanas and you can basically have whatever type of facial expression or scowl in this case that you choose to have for your display and that can be any action figure but I think for the most part where it comes to the body types this battle damage one is actually Raphael. So accessory wise yeah this is pretty much standard but we do get some additional extras and we're going to go through those shortly but uh, yeah starting things off we of course have the turtles weapons and these things are beautiful. We of course have Michelangelo's nunchucks and ninja stars, followed by Raphael's Psy, Donatello's bow staff, and of course Leonardo's katanas. And these things, as always with NECA products, are absolutely beautiful. They really are well put together, well painted, and really suit this turtle's theme for the Mirage comics. So yeah, after the weapons, we of course have these bandanas, and they've offered us these really nice pieces here. You know, we've got these additional bandana pieces, that can just plug into the back of the turtles heads. I am a bit hesitant about this because I know that these things tend to snap off if not heated and treated carefully. Um, but yeah, really nice addition to the pack and gives us a lot of display options. So I'm looking forward to seeing how I can best display the turtles with or without these particular bandana accessories. But with bandanas aside, with NECA they giveth but they also taketh away. And with that, they've given us a very limited selection of hands. So uh, yeah, as you can see here, each turtle comes with the standard gripping hands. However, they've only given us one set of each other hand type, which means that you can't really display the turtles all doing the same pose. And uh, I'm not too sure, is this gonna be a problem for me? I don't think so, but maybe for other people it could be. You know, you're not gonna be able to put the turtles in a big group high five, or you can't have them displaying like the peace sign. It's, it's gonna limit you in some areas. But then that brings us to the real deep cuts of this set. And we're gonna start off here with this additional arm piece. Um, yeah, th like I say, a real deep cut for the Turtles Mirage comics. Uh, I believe this is only really seen once in one panel. Uh, I'm gonna put that up on the screen for you guys to see here. But we have a turtle, I assume Raphael, bandaging himself up after a brawl. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a nice addition. I'm probably going to put this on my Raphael figure just to make him that much more of a standout piece amongst his four brothers. And then finally we have yet another deep cut. We have this cow piece from the Mirage comic series. Um, and this was actually from an issue where 
Raphael is left alone, stranded within the sewers, and he encounters one of the Triceratons, I believe his name is Zog, um, and he actually recruits Zog in aid for fighting the Shredder. So uh, yeah, Raphael is seen throughout this comic book sporting this poncho style cow piece, and uh, yeah, again, I love these little deep cuts that NECA seem to do. They throw this stuff in and it really works. It really sells the piece. So uh, yeah, because of this, I think I'm going to need to buy one of those Triceratons. What do you think? So there you have it guys, that was my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles gamble from AliExpress. I am really thankful that this actually worked out. These figures are absolutely great. I can't wait to display them within my collection. And yeah, I highly recommend that you guys give them a shot. If you're able to pick them up from Target over in the US, I think that is the only place that you can buy them. I think they are an exclusive. Not too sure if we'll ever see them this side of the pond or indeed anywhere else. So yeah, if you're brave enough like me to take the gamble with AliExpress, I for one can tell you that this seller is a trusted seller and you will be more than happy with the product that they send out to you. And uh, yeah, that's all for me for now. So uh, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And until next time, I'll see you in another life. Take care.